Hi guys, welcome back to the episode 2 of Design System Masterclass. So in this video, we will be discussing about typography variables in Figma. So in the previous video, we discussed about the introduction to the atomic design system. So what are foundations, what are atoms, molecules, templates, pages, we discussed all of those stuff. If you missed that video, I'll link the video in the description. Go check it, check that out. So in this video, we will be creating a type system. So inside Figma, uh, type system is very important uh, uh, for any design system. So we will be creating type system with variables inside Figma. So variables are nothing but tokens. So tokens are uh, used to store the design properties like typography, colors, spacing, shadows, grids, all those stuff. So we will store the design properties in tokens. So for any typography, so coming back here. So for any typography, uh, we'll create primitives for every single uh, property. Like for example, uh, we will create uh, primitives for colors, we will create primitives for spacing, shadows, corner radius, grids. For foundations, we'll be creating primitives in variables. So primitives are nothing but the global tokens of the design system. So for any typography, there are three, three uh, different properties for any typography. One is typeface, the uh, typeface you're using, for example, inter, pop-ins, general sans, so the typeface name, and the font weight, the weight of the typeface, whether it is regular, medium, bold, semi-bold, or something like that, and the font size, so size of the text you're using. So these are the primitives for uh, any type system. So coming to the type scale, I've already generated a type scale here. So you can use uh, typescale.com to generate uh, the type scale. So I've, gener I've generated uh, using that. So coming to uh, this type scale. So I've, I've taken base size as 12 pixels. So that is the minimum size for every device. So I've taken base size as 12 pixels. So if you observe, so there are two titles and two headings and two body text and three captions. So I created type scale like this. So now let's create the primitives for uh, our typography system. So the first thing is typeface. So every single typeface, every single text is using enter here. So for, for a change, let's use for title, let's use pop-ins or general sans. Let's use general sans for adding general sans. Yeah. So let's use general sans for adding. You'll, you'll get to know why I use general sans here. So yeah, so for any, uh, type system there will be three primitives typeface font weight and font size so let's create that so go to variables so create a variable so uh, if, if we consider typeface so it's a text right for example typeface enter is a text and uh, general sans is a text so for typeface we need to create string as a variable right typeface so we, we are using the primary typeface as general sans so let's give typeface primary and uh, let's create typeface secondary also. So for typeface secondary, we are using enter, right? So let's group this as a uh, type or else let's group this as typeface. So one primitive is done. So the typeface is done. Now let's create font weight. So we are adding three font weights here, regular, medium, and bold. So let's create that. That is also a text. So if you want to create a number, uh, a number variable, you need to consider taking regular as 400, type medium as 500 and bold as 600. So you can create something like that. So I'm taking string as the variable here. So I've created font weight uh, as a group and I've given uh, regular, medium and bold as a title and value also regular, medium and bold. Let's create an another group for font size. So I've written all the font sizes here. So this will be number. So we have to create number variables. So let's create that. Yeah, the font size variables also done. So you can see I've given title and in the brackets 48. So you will get to know why I've given something like that. So now the primitives uh, are done. Now let's assign uh, the variables to these text. So, so let's rename this collection as primitives and let's create new collection and give this collection name as type scale or typography. Not assign, so we need to create. So now uh, for every, yeah, for every title, for every font, so the common, let's find the common between every front, right? So there is the typeface is common, right? And the font size is common. So for every for title, the typeface is common and the font size is common. For subtitle, typeface is common, font size is common. The only difference is 
So the only difference is the font weight. So we need to create variables for that. So create create a string variable and give that as title, right? So create another variable, not number. So we are giving title as uh, the we are giving title as the name of the typography variable, the first variable. So in this thing, we will be having typeface. We'll be having typeface for every title. And we will be having font size. Oh, sorry, this is number. Font size, right? So font size. Let's assign the value to it. So title, the typeface is type, uh, typeface primary. We are using typeface primary. And now you know why I've given in bracket the value. So for title, we need to assign the font size. And uh, yeah, uh, so we need to give regular. So we need to give font weight. So this, this is where we need to create another group. So this is uh, for regular. And if you duplicate it, we will be creating for medium, change it to medium and duplicate it, create it for bold. So the title regular medium bold is done. So again, duplicate the title, duplicate the entire group and give it as subtitle and change the font to 36. And we are using the same subtitle uh, font, like we are using the same general sans for subtitle also. So there is no need to change the typeface and duplicate it. So we are adding heading. So in heading, there are there is a major change. We are changing the typeface. So we are changing the typeface to secondary and the font size to 30, right? and the weights remain same. And let's duplicate again and create all the variables. So creating all the variables are done. So when you see there is a title, there is a subtitle, adding, uh, subheading, body base, caption, caption small, caption extra small. So all the variables, creating all the variables are done. So coming to assigning these variables to uh, these text, so let's assign these variables to this text. So let me show you the first one. So if you see the title regular, and when you go to text, and you will be having apply variable here. So when you go to apply variable, so there is typeface primary here. So we need to assign these, and this is regular. So we need to assign regular, and this is 48, and we need to assign 48. So assigning variables for each uh, typeface here. So let me do it quickly for everything. Yeah, assigning variables are done. So assigning the variables are done. So now let's create styles for each uh, each typography. So each type, let's create styles for each type. Uh, the reason for creating e uh, styles for each type because is the reason for creating styles for each type because so you can't assign you can't keep assigning the uh, variables. You can't keep assigning the variables every time you write the text right. So we need to create we need to create styles to do that. So let's create styles also. So to create styles, so you need to select the text and click on plus if it's title write title and backslash regular so let me create for everything So yeah, we have created uh, all the styles. So the reason for creating styles is we can easily reassign, like we can assign directly uh, from the styles. So you might get it out, like why are we creating variables instead of instead of using styles? So let me show you one example. So for example, if you want to change the typeface to some other else, something else. So let me tell you an example. So if you want to change a typeface uh, to something else, so now it's general sense, but you want to change it to open sense. So now it's general sense. So now you want to change the title to the open sense. So you can't go to every single screen and change the uh, typeface, right? So you simply go to variables 
and go to primitives and instead of general science write open science it automatically changes so if you see the typeface it is open science so that is the beauty of variables i hope you got some value from this video so in the next video we will look into how to create type system for the responsive design and yeah consider subscribing to my channel and see you in the next one